Okay, back at the trailer court again. Got a trailer house, need new siding. Getting ready to pop this off, put new siding on. All right, here's the damage. What happens, this siding on these trailer houses when you overlap this bottom with the skirting in the trailer house, the water just runs underneath there and uh, gets all trapped. Water works its way down and then gets in there and just makes a mess of everything. So we're doing it different now. This trailer house is permanent resident in this trailer court. We're gonna cut our new siding right there and stick it down on top with some uh, drip edge to keep this from happening in the future. First thing we gotta do is pop all that lease up the top with all these got uh, quarter inch hex drive screws. Uh, had the kit already pull all of them out, just left a couple in for the windows take them out but uh, we got to pop them out of that drip edge at the very top and we're just going back with similar siding all right I don't know if you can see that all these screws I'm gonna pop them loose because we want to be able to tuck our new uh, siding underneath there like it should not just gonna bump under there and call it good we're gonna take it off and do it right Okay, they got this sealer on here. We're not going back with this stuff. We're going back with a different stuff. They got it stapled about every two or three inches. We're popping it all out so it's all loose. So our new siding will go underneath there. Uh, and then we'll put this back down. Some different sealer and some different type of screws. I'm not going to use a staple gun on this. Uh, just because it'll blast through, we're going to screw it down instead. GoPro on my head. We're gonna get a magnet and pick all these up off the bottom. Just one of them ones with the roller, you pick up nails and screws off the floor. But uh, anyways, you can see what's gotta be done there. Tedious process, but uh, rewarding in the long run. Okay, we're caulking this edge down here on the drip edge. We just ripped down a piece and uh, caulking this edge before we slap the other edge up in there tucking it underneath that can up there making sure it's all sealed up well we got the siding on this old trailer house in this old neighborhood uh, got the drip edge I'll show you how this works a lot better now than the old way they had it uh, we're getting ready to caulk the whole edge now and uh, she's going to paint, the owners are going to paint it. We always put the windows on the outside and then wrap it with trim on the outside. Reason being, you don't want to have to strip this whole thing to replace the window. We're in hail country, a lot of hail damage. So this way, all they'd have to do is pop the trim off, pop the window out, pop a new one in, put trim back on. But it's all going to get caulked and sealed. I'll show you the proper way to put trim on. Right now I'm getting ready to tie down the roof edge first and then uh, put the gutter back up. We're using different type of caulking for that, but uh, here we just take and run it on there and squish it in there. Be very generous, it don't matter. Caulk's cheap. We just want a lot on there. See how that caulk is squishing out them seams? I caulked them seams before I even put the sheet on. So you don't have to caulk them and paint will hide all that. You see how that stuff is squishing out of there? It means I got it on there enough. I'm using those seal screws or sheet metal screws for buildings like pole barns and stuff. 
and I just, you know, take my thumb or finger and wipe it off. Yeah, you get it on you, but uh, you can wash this off. Just smear it on there good. Like that. And you have a good uh, sealed edge on the roof of this trailer house. You notice I'm putting them about every four inches because it's help holding the roof down. I got screws underneath too, and that's really helping the roof down, hold the roof down. But uh, anyways, really going to be a good product now. Just showing you how to trim these. Doesn't matter if it's a trailer house or a big stick house. Watershed, you want your top piece of trim expand, extending past. And your bottom so the water flows down keeps flowing down all the way down and then your inside your bottom one you want inside so the water just keeps going past you don't want to cut it across here so it fills up with water right here you don't want to take this up this way or on a 45 because it tends to get water in it so that's how you trim out a window Okay, got this trailer house recited. At least just this north side where the the weather gets it. She'll probably have me come back and finish the rest, but I always leave the owner to paint it and everything. Uh, remember we change this up now so the water just runs down past everything, watershed off instead of behind it now. But uh, use that Z flashing for siding on here but anyways there it is they're gonna paint it i don't paint unless i absolutely have to but uh there it is all all done